Hello guys, this is Sayyid Muhammad Wakas. Today I will tell you how you can create your mechanical project from architectural file. So I have uh, Revit open over here, it's Revit 2017. So you have to go to new and from the template you have to select uh, mechanical template and select OK. Wait a bit. Let it open. Then from uh, insert tab, you have to select the architectural file in which you want to create your mechanical project. So from here insert, you have to go to link Revit. So you have to specify the location of your architectural file where you will be located. So this is the building, office building, this architectural plan on which I am going to work right now. So from positioning you have to select uh, auto origin to origin and select open. Wait a bit. So there we go. We got our mechanic, uh, this architectural file over here. And second step we have to do is we have to select this uh, architectural project, and then we have to pin it. This is important because uh, if you accidentally move your project, then you will have problem. So you have always have to pin it. Okay and uh, then you have to go to from the property palette you have to go to edit type and from here you have to check this room bounding this is important you have to do this one in order to set up your mechanical project so just take this one say apply click ok Next thing we have to do from our project browser. Okay, from the project browser, from the elevations, any one of the elevation you can open. Okay, uh, here you can see east, north, south any of the elevations want to open then open it and uh, set up your levels first ok I will open each mechanical There we go. So, how many levels do we have? We have to see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, low roof, parapet, and high roof. Okay. So, first of all, I have to align this level. So, I have to type AL from the keyboard in order to select align command. AL. Okay, I got this now. First, I have to select the line select this level this is level 2 ok then you have to select this level this one I want to align this one ok there we go so align this one then you have to escape couple of times in order to finish the command then you have to select this one you can see this small bubble over here you, have, you can drag this level so you have to drag it the way from here to here ok now you don't have uh, more levels so you have to create levels ok so by clicking this level you have to click this level too then you have to type cs from the keyboard this is a create similar command it will create the similar level so i am going to press cs from my keyboard so you can see over here in the modify place level i am going to select this pick lines then this make plan view ok then I have from the plan view types I need only 
फ्लोर प्लान एंड सीलिंग प्लान आई डोंट नीड स्ट्रक्चर प्लान तो डी सेलेक्टेड फ्रॉम हेयर एंड से ओके दैन फ्रॉम द पिक लाइन ऑलरेडी सिलेक्ट यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट दिस वन थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड लो रू ओके दैन यू हैव टू मॉडिफाई प्लस मॉडिफाई और प्लस स्पेस कपल ऑफ टाइम्स नॉल टू फिनिश द कमांड दैन यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट दिस लो रू then tick this one six level tick this one five tick four tick three tick okay then again you have to select any one or any one of the level i told you from this bubble you can drag it so from bubble you can drag up till here so we have created our mechanical project levels so you can create for this one to uh, parapet and the uh, high roof if you want same method so first you have to select uh, this level press c as from the keyboard this is create similar pick lines select over there and from plans i don't need floor plan over here i ceiling plan over here so what i need is here floor plan only so this like ceiling plan say floor plan okay and you have to select this one just like this one then modify okay again you have to select this one say tick sorry tick this one again select the rapid like this one okay and you have to move it from here to here okay here we go okay so we have created our levels here now what we have to do is we have to go back to our uh floor plans it's already there we can change the name from here just by clicking right click and then rename it say it's level 1 okay this one is rename it as level 2 okay and from here you can also change the names if you want from low roof you can change this one to low and you have to change this one this one has parapet or say yes you want to okay and this one you can change this to high roof say okay so we have changed the name creating a created over levels okay now if we will go back to our ceiling plan Okay, you have only one and two. So where the rest of the ceiling plan we have created for three, four, five, six. If you will go up, there's C under mechanical. There's a plus button. We have to press this one. There's a ceiling plan over there. You have three, four, five, six, and low roof here. So what you have to do is you have to select level three, four, five, six, and low roof. Then from the property palette, you have to go here. This 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 ceiling plan is mechanical. But sub basic plan it's not selected over here, so we have to select this one under HVAC to apply. There we go. We got all of the levels over here. Just need to change the name. So ceiling plan one. We will change this one to level one. Then we will similar method. We will change the this name to level two ceiling plan. Okay. There we go. So we have created our levels. and uh, we have just rename this one so this is how you have to create levels in order to start your mechanical project okay now i will move to level 1 ceiling plan oh, so i have opened this one uh, i will change the detail levels from here to fine and uh, from here to wireframe okay so that i can see the ceiling grids so here we go there the ceiling grids over here so before starting mechanical project we have to uh just do the room names and numbers so in order to do that we have to go to under analyze tab you will find your space space so you have to select this one now to get the spacing to 
that area so so I'm gonna select level 2 with an offset of 0 ok so here we go we have to put the space anywhere over here I don't want to put the space uh, manually I want to put it automatically so we can just select play spaces automatically from here let's click it so it will gonna place all of the spaces automatically into your project as you will see it's regenerating just wait a bit okay so we have created 49 spaces automatically but it has no name so in order to give the name same as architectural file so what you have to do you have to select the space tag then go to edit family from here you have to select the space name and go to edit label then deselect this space name from here remove parameter from label then from category parameter you have to go down and uh, find room name say ok and select this one add parameter say ok then second you have to select this one go to edit label same remove this number from here you have to select uh, room number and then add this parameter over here say ok let's drag it into this position ok now you have to load this into project let us select this one you can say override yes override the existing volume now you will see see it, it will give automatically name and number same as architectural file this toilet kitchen manager room office space lounge everything and you can confirm from here by selecting this one and then go to uh, you have to select this space and then go down and see see one space is 101 office space it's same ok so this is how you have to create room name and numbers and levels before starting this uh, mechanical project so this is uh, what we have done up here with another tutorial that is related to set up mechanical equipment like uh, fan coil units variable air volume units and air handling units inside the project in this tutorial i will explain particularly for fan coil unit if you have seen my last tutorial in which I explained how to set up levels and creating spaces for mechanical project. So in this uh, tutorial, I will explain you two basic things. One, how to set up your mechanical equipment in the project. And second, how to do the duct routing inside your project. So let's start. So I have opened the same file where I left last time. So in this okay first uh, if i will go and see over here first thing i have to check the ceiling height so in order to check the ceiling height uh, you have to go to annotate tab under annotate you find uh, spot elevation okay let me change this to here and then uh, you will select this spot elevation and you can see how much is the ceiling height you can see 2743 is the ceiling height over here in this office space 127 ok press escape to cancel the command so remember this figure because we have to put uh, uh, mechanical equipment fan coil unit that should be above the ceiling so this is the ceiling level 2743 so our F ceiling should be higher than 2743 and should be below level 2 ok press escape to cancel the command Okay, now change this uh, level to wireframe again so that you can see the ceiling width. First of all, before placing the mechanical equipment, you must know the heat load calculation for that area because as per heat load calculation or CFM, you have to select your machine, equipment, fan coil units, air handling units. So, I am not going to tell you right now for heat load calculation i will make a separate tutorial for you to tell you how to do the heat load calculation by using app or by using e20 form 
So in this tutorial, in order to save the time, I will use some general rule. So as per general rule, uh, ground floor needed 75 to 80 BTUs per hour per square feet. And uh, first floor and more floors above floors needed 80 to 85 BTUs per hour per square feet. So right now I am working on ground floor. So I will uh, use this general rule 70 to 70, 75 to 80 videos per hour per square feet. Okay, if I select this office space 127 and I will go to this property palette. Down there I will find uh, area. Down there I will find the area that is 110.688 square meters. So how much is the area? 110. 0.668 square meters so multiply this with uh, 10.76 in order to convert this into square feet that much is a square feet how much I told you 175 to 80 BTUs per hour per square feet for the ground floor so multiply this with 75 that 88,770 BTUs per hour needed so divided by 12,000 you will get tonnage 7.39 is the tonnage required for this office space 1 to 7. As per general rule, we know that 1 ton requires 400 CFM. So multiply this with 400, you will get your CFM that is 2959. Let me convert this one into liters per second. 2959. Okay. Convert this into liter per second, you will get 1396 liters per second. Okay, now I'm gonna put two FCUs over there. So if I need to put two FCUs, then uh, 1396. Okay, 1396 divided by two. I got 68 liters per second for each FCU. 698 liters per second. Okay, so. I know the ceiling level over here, so let me go to system. Under system, I will find mechanical equipment, or you can press ME shortcut. As you can see, you cannot put any mechanical equipment here, you cannot see another property palette. You find different mechanical equipment like boiler, radiator, and peering unit. What I need is to find quality, it's not here, so I have to load this from load family. You will go under mechanical that is over here. NEP inside components terminal unit. You find fan coil unit, ceiling ducted, chill water. Okay, open this one. How much we got? Uh, one FC 690 liters per second. Okay, so I have to go over here. Select this 658. Then go to edit type and then duplicate this one. To 698 liter per second say ok then ok and now you cannot see your mechanical equipment over here the reason over here is because you have to give offset that should be above the ceiling level so that you can see your mechanical equipment I told you 2743 is the ceiling level so machine should be above the ceiling level and below level 2 so here I need to give an offset uh, that is more than 2743 ceiling level so I will make it 2950 apply now you can see your mechanical equipment ok now I want to if you want to rotate this one just press space bar to rotate and put it in your desired position ok let me put one here and uh, press escape couple of times you can tell it more now select this FCU and you can see there is a mark that is the identity of this FCU make it FCU1 hit apply ok now if you will select this FCU right click say create similar create one more FCU press the space bar to rotate the equipment one more over here ok and press skip if you will select this machine and go down and you can see it will automatically change the name of second FCU to 
so so basic mechanical equipment of sieve is done now next step is i have to put uh, air terminals into space so for the air terminals okay i am going to put uh, four air terminals so one machine four air terminals how much we got 698 divided by four air terminals that is 174.5 liters per second each air terminal 174.5 okay now on the system tab i will find my air terminal so you can press at for the shortcut so select this one air terminal from here you have to select the apply diffuser since i have a system tab in the terminal connection okay i have select this one now i cannot see my diffuser over here same reason i need to over here give an offset same as the ceiling height i remember 2743 is the ceiling height so i don't need these arrows so just uncheck it apply i will put my diffusers over here later on i will change the positions let me put over here first Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight diffusers. Okay, that's great. To cancel the command. Now I want to align this one exactly with the cylinder, so I have to press A L from the keyboard in order to align this one. Select this one over here, over here. Okay, now select this one and line over here. Again, this one. Now, as you can see. my diffusers are aligned so now next step i have to do is i have to connect this uh, machine with this uh, air terminal with the help of the crowding so i have to start the crowding so what i have to do is i have to select this machine okay now i have to draw a duct from here this quite big duct let me reduce its size to 350 by 300 maybe later on we'll do the duct sizing later on we'll do the duct sizing okay over here from here to here space uh, press k cancel one again press k a couple of times to cancel the command now select this machine also we can do it by big with the by 300 okay okay from here to here also from here to here to connect this uh, duct with the air terminal with the help of this flex cable duct so what i have to do is i have to go to system tab and find this flex duct or press f3 as a shortcut like this one flex duct flex connect flex connect flex connect same flex connect you just need to click duct and then air terminal duct air terminal duct air terminal same way duct air terminal let's keep twice 
button so the command will just press modify ok so our first step was creating this uh, uh, this setup mechanical equipment in kind project second is to the duct routing that is also done also we have set up this uh, air terminals inside the project so we have connected the air terminal with the app of duct so duct routing is done air terminals placed so what we said over here this is 98 cfm for data per second for this machine but why not join 940 because i did not change the air terminals flow rate so let me select this air terminals Okay, I'll change this one to each one we said 174.5. Okay, center. So now we'll select this machine and how much we got over here? 6 number 8 plus 698. Similarly, over here we got 698. So we have uh, the reason why I did it because I need to hold the exact air flow and later on it will help in duct sizing. Because in the next video, I will tell you how to do duct sizing and about uh, duct routing preferences so i hope you guys understand a lot from this video plus i need to tell you one more thing before then i need to put this uh, return air terminals also over here so let me go to system and uh, find this air terminal and uh, from property palette change this to return diffuser 600 case and internet connection same 8 here I cannot see because I need to change the offset same as the level seven four three. It apply. Put here the terminal over here. One two three four. One two three. Four five six seven and eight. Okay, same way I need to give the demeanor flow. That is uh, 174.5. Okay, hit enter. Okay. So I have opened the same file where I left last time. If you have seen my last tutorial in which I have uh, set up my mechanical equipment, it's fan coil unit inside the project. So after setting my mechanical equipment inside the project what I did I placed my air terminals supply and return and then I did uh, this duct routing inside the project and today I will tell you how to do duct sizing in the rabbit 2017 so let's follow so before starting the duct sizing what we have to do is uh, if I will uh, highlight one of the ducts over here and press tab one time and two time it will select uh, air terminals and ducts so I just need to left click from the mouse and it will select the whole duct uh, then I have to go from modify multi select tab I have to select filter and from here what I need for duct sizing is uh, duct fittings, ducts and flex duct. I don't need air terminals so I will just keep that from here. Say OK. Then uh, under uh, modify multi stack tab or duct system tab you will find this analysis. Under analysis you will find duct pipe sizing. So you have to click this one. Then you will find the uh, sizing method. You can size on the base of velocity and friction. So I will select velocity and friction. It's a general rule for the design. For fan coil units, we need 4.5 meters per second of the maximum velocity. We will not exceed in the ducts more than 4.5 meters per second. So I will select here 4.5 meters per second and friction. And the maximum friction that is allowed for fan coil units is 0.40 pascals per meter so I will select 140 pascals per meter so just need to change this velocity as a design velocity of 4.5 and a friction is 0.40 pascals per meter 
and select give. So as you can see duct sizing is done but still we need to modify our duct. As you can see this uh, one piece of duct we need to convert this duct or split this duct into different pieces because there is a one branch here, one here and one here. So if you will go under uh, modify tab you will find this uh, split element. You have to uh, select this one and you have to split this duct into different pieces after branches click here then click here then click somewhere here ok I will convert then press escape to cancel the command ok uh, one thing you can do is you can perform duct sizing on single piece of duct also for example if I select this duct piece and I will do duct size sizing it will perform duct sizing same method 4.5 meter per second velocity maximum velocity and maximum friction is 0.40 pascals per meter say ok it will reduce the duct size again you can perform duct size there same method say ok again here duct size sizing same method ok ok if you will select this duct it will say 275 by 275 and normally you will not see this duct size these are coming in the E1 numbers so we just need to convert this into standard sizes so what I will do I will if I will if I have selected this piece of duct ok and under property palette if I will go down and see how much is the flow mechanical flow 174.5 meters per second ok 174.5 meters per second how much is CFM it will be 369.7 that is 370 CFM ok let me open this duct size tool for you ok how much 370 CFM 370 CFM uh, if you will convert this uh, into inches of water column the head loss it will be 0 0.05 to the maximum head loss in the fan column units and it will be 10 by 10 ok into so 12 by 9 but to give one number over here that is 10 ok now we are going to see this head loss 0 0.05 this head loss 0 0.03 that is calculated head loss is less than our specified head loss so we are in the safe range with 12 by 10 inch duct so we can use 12 by 10 inches duct with 4370 cfm for this ok I will select this piece this piece and this piece 12 by 10 is nothing that is 300 by 250 so we are good with this piece ok if I will see this duct it's 350 ok no problem 400, 400 ok no problem again this 425 by 425 this is not a standard piece of duct size so we need to change its size how much it says mechanical flow mechanical flow is 698 meters per second ok let me convert 698 to so we can come at 1478.97 ok go to duct sizer again 1479 ok 0 0.05 is the head loss say 20 by 14 or 22 by 22 by 14 we are good or 20 by 16 20 by 16 ok see this calculated head loss is 0 0.038 this is less than our specified head loss 0 0.05 so we are in the good range so 20 by 16 we can use 20 by 16 is how much 20 cross by 5 that is 500 by 400 so we can use 500 by 400 instead of 425 by 425 500 by 400 ok so we are good ok similarly 
similar method I'm going to apply for the second machine I need to hover my pointer in one of the duct it will highlight and press tab once and again press tab it will select duct and diffusers select it with the left click of the mouse then go to filter uncheck air terminals say ok again go to duct pipe sizing velocity is 4.5 maximum and friction maximum 0.40 pascal per meter say ok ok again done now again i have to split this duct into different pieces because so one uh, piece because after every month we need to convert this duct ok uh, let, let me go to modify tab again you know you find split element select it click here click it click here click it click here click it ok press k twice to cancel the command again you will select this piece to the sizing say ok again here that sizing ok again select this one that sizing it ok ok so that sizing is done over here similarly whatever the size I have selected over here even number of sizes I need to select or oh, because the standard duct size 350 by 200 because the same uh, CFM or little per second of the machine same capacity machine so same duct sizing ok I will do the same for this one that is 300 by 250 like this one and change this one to 300 by 250 okay similarly how much we said over here for the last step is 500 by 400 i think yeah okay. let's make this one 500 by 400 okay so this is how you have to do duck sizing in the Revit. hope you guys learned a lot from this video I'm here once again with another tutorial uh, and in this tutorial I will tell you guys how to add duct accessories into your duct work if you have seen my previous tutorial in which uh, I have explained about duct sizing so I have opened the same practice project where I left last time so in order to uh, add duct accessories you must go to system tab you will find over here duct accessories or you can simply type DA from the keyboard to select the accessories so just click it so by clicking this property palette I have this uh, balancing damper rectangular and fire damper over here I will just select this balancing damper with it I am going to place this one into the work just click it and we have selected the VCD so just press click over here to add uh, VCD into each and every branch like this just press click control Z ok just click this VCD and then create right click and create similar ok now over here One over here. One here. And one here. Okay. Just press J twice to get the command. Uh, if I select one of the VCD, you will notice there is an arrow over here. It will change the direction of this uh, VCD. It will move to the other side if I select this one. See, if I select this one, it will move the damper handle to the other side. Similar way, you can select this rotation buttons to rotate the VCD and make it in your desired position, whatever you want. Okay. 
So this is how you have to place your duck accessories into your duck work. In my next uh, video, I will tell you guys how you can because in you know in high rise buildings you have typical floors. For example, if you will finish your work in one floor, you will have the same uh, capacities onto the second floor, third floor, and so on so forth. So I will just finish first floor, and then I will copy my element from here and paste. So in this video, I will tell you guys how you can do tagging of the duct, air terminals, or your mechanical equipment like FCU we have drawn in this case so in order to do the duct tagging you have to go to under annotate tab you will find uh, tag by category or you can find it also over here this is tag by category so tag by category you have to select this one so simply if you want this FCU needs to be tagged so if you see over here there are some options Either you want it horizontal or vertical. Horizontal will be like this and vertical it will appear like this. So if you want horizontal and uh, if you don't want any leader, you just, just uncheck this one, it will not give you any leader. So if you will select this leader and uh, you have two options over here, that is attached end and free end. If it's attached end, it will appear like this. If it's free end, it will be like this you can make up your uh, tagging like this but if you have to do it with the uh, attached end it will be like this just one so similar way you can do the duct tagging for the duct tagging so let me change this one to free end or uh, attached end and i don't want any leader for this one so change this one over here for duct tagging can simply tag your ducts like this just clicking ok this one I will give a leader with a free end and here ok this one also because a small duct I will not be able to see ok let me go over here too Okay, if you want to tag your air terminals, you can also tag your air terminals in a similar way. Uh, you want a free end or a tight end, it's up to you. I want to be a free end, okay, with a leader like this. Okay, you can do as many diffusers as you want, you can tag them, simply tag it like this. Can tag. Okay, press K to cancel the command. And uh, one thing more, if you don't want uh, this with the leader, you simply uncheck this one, or simply uncheck this one too. And you want to move this one, if you want into a vertical position, change this one into vertical, change this one to vertical. And you can also move it from here too. Similarly, you can move this one over here too. As you can see now, this duct tag is quite big. I want to change the size of this duct, uh, this uh, FCU tag. It's quite big. I will just select this one and go to Edit Family. Again, I will select this one and go to Edit Type. Here, I find different text size, tab size, and width text. If I will change this width factor to 0.5, hit apply, then OK, and load it into project, and then override the existing version. It will reduce the size. You can see that. Okay. And one thing more, if I select this FCU and go to property palette, in the mechanical equipment equipment tag you will find box and standard if you don't want a box make it standard there will be no box similar like select this one property palette select this one standard there will be no box in your tagging so you can move it into your desired position 
like this okay so this is how you have to tag your ducting mechanical equipment air terminals similarly if you have virtual uh, water piping you can tag it so i have opened the same file same project vector project file so in this video i will tell you guys how you can make uh, chill water pipe connections to the fcu in the same way you can do chill water connection with the uh, air handling units and the fresh air handling units so let me start if you will click this uh, mechanical equipment fcu you will see there are four connectors over here this is for the electrical this is for the sanitary drainage and uh, this is for your chill water pipe connections one inlet and one outlet this is 32 mm so i am going to before making a connection let me go to project browser and show you one more thing under family if i will drop down to this families and uh, go to my piping system and i find different this uh, domestic cold water hot water fire protection dry fire protection pre action fire protection wet hydronic return hydronic supply in this video i will tell you about hydronic supply and hydronic return so if i will supply as select this hydronic supply and right click go to tab properties in the graphics override i will go and uh, there is no color assigned to this one let me assign the color for supply that is blue okay okay and fluid temperature is 4 degrees centigrade water calculation is okay similarly i have to go to hydronic return type properties go to graphics over right change the color over here to return that is red okay okay chill water return is 11 fluid type water okay okay so this is how you have to go to families and you can assign the color to your chill water piping system so let's move back over here and uh, just uh, i'm trying to make a connection for the chill water pipe right now so let me start with the supply okay Press escape twice to cancel the command. Similar, similar way, you will go over here and uh, make return connection like this. Press escape to cancel the command. In, in the similar way, you will do a connection for the second machine. This is for supply. connected with the main pipe similar way do for the return connect it to the main return okay let's keep can to cancel the command okay so we have connected this uh, fcu with the chill water piping so let me do pipe sizing for you in this video also So, if you want to do the pipe sizing in Revit, you just need to hold your pointer into one of the pipe. For example, I want to do pipe sizing in the supply. I just hover my pointer over here and press tab once and one more time. One more time tab, then you see it highlight the uh, all of the pipe virtual uh, water supply pipe is highlighted. Just click it and go to under. Uh, pipe in this modify tab you will find analysis and here you find duct pipe size and just click it one thing in the design you need to remember for the pipe size is less than 2 uh, inches less than 2 inches uh, velocity should be less than 1.22 meters per second for pipe size more than 2 inches that is more than 60 uh, 65 mm and high pipe size velocity should be more than 1.2 or less than 2.4 meter per second so in this case 
since the pipe size uh, is less than 2 inches so I am going to select 1.2 meters per second it, this is the maximum velocity so it will not exceed uh, so it should not exceed this maximum velocity so uh, I am selecting 1.2 meters per second here and then select ok it will do the pipe sizing see here we got a pipe size of 32 here we got uh, 32 and here we got 50 so as you can see over here if I have select this pipe segment and go to my property palette I will see how much is the flow rate 1.38 liters per second and the velocity of this pipe segment is 0.78 meter per second as I told you 1.22 meters per second the maximum velocity should not exceed this maximum velocity so this 0.78 meter per second is less than 1.22 meters per second so we are in the safe range so design is good for this pipe segment similar way you can check this 0.69 meters per second and velocity is 1.08 meters per second that is less than 1.22 meters per second so we are in the safe range similar way you can check this one the velocity is less than 1.22 so we are good in the same way you can do pipe sizing for your chill water return just for your pointer in one of the pipe segment and then press tab 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 select the pipe then go to the pipe sizing 1.22 meters per second ok so you have got the same size over here that is 50 mm that is uh, 32 mm 32 mm ok if you want to uh, do the sizing manually then you can do it also uh, let me open this pipe sizer for you and i will show you here also how you can do the pipe sizing ok here it is so in chill water we are using black steel carb uh, schedule 40 pipe so fluid is water at 50 degree for height ok so if uh, pipe size is half inches then it says 1.5 or US GPM is required in our case what it says it says uh, if I select this pipe segment it says 1.38 liters per second 1.38 liters per second flow ok if I want to convert 1.38 uh, liter per second to GPM so 1.38 divided by 0 0.06309 if I divide 1.38 by this figure I will get GPM so I got 22 GPM almost 22 GPM so if I go over here and what is the pipe size it says 50 mm 50 mm is 1 and a half inches over here 1 and a half inches and if I will go for 2 inches it will say Uh, 2 inches 2 inches mean 50 mm 50 mm as you can see this uh, if I will go one and a half that is uh, 40 mm it says 18 GPM is the maximum I can select over here if I go for 2 inches it will say 35 GPM what is our case we got 22 GPM 22 GPM so 22 GPM so if you have 35 GPM this is the maximum size you can use over here 2 inches so our case it's 22 GPM so we can use uh, 2 inches size but we cannot use 1.5 because uh, if we want to use 1.5 inch size it gives us maximum 18 GPM okay so I'll go for 2 inches it says 35 GPM and you see fluid velocity is 3.35 feet per second so if uh, 1.2 if I want to convert 1.22 meter per second to feet per second it will be 4 feet per second so if I give uh, 2 inches with 22 GPM that is our case we see that fluid velocity is 2.1 feet per second that is less than 4 feet per second so our design is good 2 inches with 22 GPM in the similar way you can check this one or this one 
you have 32 mm that is one quarter here your flow rate is 0.69 liter per second if i want to convert this uh, 0.69 uh, to gpm divided by 0.06 So by dividing 0.69 with this figure 0.6309 I can convert this liter per second into GPM. So how much uh, 0.69 divided by 0.6309? 0.0069. So how much uh, GPM I got over here? 11 GPM. Okay. Let me go to the pipe sizer again and show you once again. So what it says 32 mm pipe is good. So let me check it manually. I'll go 32 mm is one quarter. Okay, it says 12 GPM. So up to 12 GPM you can use one quarter. That is giving a fluid velocity of 2.57 feet per second. Okay, if uh, in our case what it says it's 10.90 that is 11 GPM. Oh, let me okay let me give you 11 GPM. Okay, load velocity is 2.36 feet per second. Okay, this velocity which is calculated over here is less than the design velocity of 4 feet per second. So, we are in the good range, safe range. So, no problem this 5 sides uh, which we have selected over here for 11 GPM, 1 quarter, 32, that is 32 mm is good. So, our design is safe. So, this is how you have to do pipe sizing manually by using pipe sizer tool and uh, also you can do this uh, pipe sizing automatically by using in the rabbit soft in my last uh, video i have told you guys how to make shell water pipe connections to the fcu and how to do pipe sizing in the rabbit automatically or by using pipe sizer manually so in this video i will tell you guys how you can add pipe accessories to your Revit model so let me start with this one first uh, go to system tab you will find uh, here pipe accessories or you can type PA on the keyboard as a shortcut so add the pipe accessories just click it since there are uh, no pipe accessories loaded in the project I would like to load now yes just go and load it go to pipe accessories here you have different accessories like strainer i want to add the strainer okay what else i want to add here only strainer okay i want to load some more families okay go to load family and load more accessories go to pipe accessories or go to walls also I need to add some walls like uh, balancing walls I need to add this balancing walls that is 52 ok this one plus I need to add some gate walls I will add over here the gate walls over here okay and what else I need is strainer is also done okay go to pipe walls what else I need here is control walls motor control walls okay motor control walls also here click it so I have loaded all the families which I want right now so right now it's uh, motorized control wall with me it's 15 250 mm I need the 50 uh, over here that is 32 mm so let me go to edit type and uh, not uh, or I can change from there go over here and this 32 mm is available here let me select this one motorized control wall 32 mm and uh, fix it over here one here and uh, one over here press escape to cancel the command now again go to pipe accessories 
and this time I want to load the gate wall that is uh, PSS uh, 32mm is not available so let me select this 50mm go to edit type and duplicate this one to 32mm say ok since we duplicate the name we need to change the size of this uh, gate wall also so we have to go to go over here and change this nominal diameter to 32mm hit ok and then go and place your gate wall over here ok so we have a gate wall one gate wall 32mm here one gate wall 32mm over here so we'll press escape to cancel the command since this gate wall wheel is too big so I want to change its size I will select this one go to edit type I can change this open height I can change everything whatever I want I don't want 180 mm this uh, wheel diameter I will change it to 100 ok and uh, this open height I will take uh, maybe 180 uh, for this one and body height maybe 150 say apply ok see it's changed now ok what else do I need over here I will go to pipe accessories again and uh, here I will select a strainer strainer of 32mm Y strainer 30 32mm go and select it over there one here and other one here so it can serve select this strainer right click create similar and uh, put one strainer here ok press k twice to cancel the command select the strainer and you see over here you have this rotation button and you can change the position of your strainer as per your desired uh, location or position just move it like this like this it will change ok one thing more I need to add over here that is uh, balancing wall DRV double regulating wall so again go to pipe accessories system pipe accessories I need to add uh, balancing wall this balancing wall threaded 32 mm I need to add over here just add it over here balancing wall one here and uh, second one here ok press here to cancel the command so if I will go to my 3d view it will look like this I will show you yeah here it is my 3d view let's change the detail levels to point and uh, from here change it to shaded so this is what we have created now as you can see the pipe connections over here there is a motorized wall this is our strainer if you want to move it you can move it down like this so you can change the position of your strainer pipe connections, this supply and this filter, this is our gate wall, this is our DRV, this is our motorized control wall and this is our strainer. This 
that's how it should be so this is how you have to add pipe accessories into the chilled water pipe connection okay let's move back to our flow plan okay in the similar way after doing this adding pipe accessories you can do tagging of your pipe uh, accessories and your piping in the same way we did uh, uh, tagging for the ducts for air terminal in this video i will tell you guys how you can make a condensate train connection for your mechanical equipment like fcu and ehu so let me select one of the machine over here and start making train connection so as you can see it is a one connector over here this is for uh, condensate drain so if i will select this symbol it will start creating a pipe so let's start creating a pipe over here as you can see it's not visible in the view so let me cancel this one first and uh, you have to go to view tab under view you find visibility graphics so you can press vg from the keyboard as shortcut so then here you have to go to filters and this sanitary visibility you have to take this one say apply ok ok now we start creating again connection let me create a section for you over here in order to start a drain connection if you go over here you can see a section if you select this one you can create a section over here and we can easily start making drain connection ok let me adjust this one if you double click this arrow this section will open and uh, this is uh, this fine and we can use this one to widen ok so this is our drain connector we can start making drain connection from here ok you know in drains we have to give slopes so here you can find slopes I want to give a slope down with a value of 1% we we'll give it uh, with 100 mm ok then slope off I have to make a trap over here slope down 100 and again slope down with a value of 1% 100 can move up slope off the value of uh, 80 mm. then again slope down with the value of 1% ok now press escape to cancel the command so here the little flux button you can make it D and uh, by selecting this D you will find end cap over here for cleaning purpose you can do that so our trap is done over here so let's move back to our floor plan we will just select this pipe make a right click draw a pipe make sure that uh, slope down with a value of 1% ok now we will create a pipe over here and we will move our drain pipe to the nearest Floor drain as there is a toilet over here, so I will make uh, this drain connection to the toilet. It will go to the floor drain later on. Okay, press skip twice to cancel the command. Same way, we will make a connection drain connection for other FCU. So move here, open this section. Again, 
I will select this connector start making a drain slope down with the value of 1% click on the mm and slope off and down again with the 100 and slope down with the value of uh, 100 mm slope off the value of uh, 80 again slope down the command now again select this elbow convert into T like this elbow put an end cap over here so trap is ready let's move back to the floor plan and uh, select this pipe over here again start draw a pipe make sure slope down is selected with the value of 1% and just connect this with the drain pipe okay so just press modify to cancel the command so now if i move back to my 3d view it looks like this wait a bit the system is too slow how you can make your drain connection for mechanical equipment like FPUs in the same way you can do your condensate drain connection for air handling units so let's move back to our load plan so this is how you can make your drain connection